Okay, so I'm sitting here with my friend Jessica and we just got back from Sephora and as much as I would like to hold off and wait until I have a professional camera, I'm not going to because I just bought a whole bunch of new shit and I'm not about consumerism, but you know what? Sometimes a bitch needs to buy some stuff for herself, but these are my cult favorites. These are the things that I have gone so long without having in my makeup bag and I've held out. These are like actually cult favorites from Sephora that I feel like I at least need in my makeup kit. I'm not saying that anyone needs anything, but for me doing makeup, it's very, very helpful. First thing, and okay, I have my receipt here so I can go over how much I spent. And Jessica, feel free to chime in at any point. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I bought was an illuminator. I already own the Hot Sand Illuminator by NARS. The most universal NARS shade is Orgasm. And so I got this in an illuminator. And if you haven't bought an illuminator before, what it is is it's just like, I don't know. Okay, yeah, it kind of looks like that. The good thing about this is I can mix a powder into this. I can use this as a blush. And on top of that, I can also use this on the lip. So if I want a lip gloss or if I want this on the eye or on any point instead of me just buying the Orgasm powder, and then not feeling like I can make it into a bunch of products, using this, I can just turn it into anything. So this illuminator um, was $39 plus tax, but I bought my other hot sand illuminator in the beginning of the year last year, and I still have it. So I feel like it is something that you can buy and have for a while. So I feel like that's worth my money. At least for me, because I always scrape out so many powders anyway and mix it into a liquid that I kind of like low-key need that. Then I did the Shuamura Eyelash Curler. I've had this Shuamura Eyelash Curler, um, my first guy, since I started doing makeup a long time ago. I think the first time I ever bought anything from Sephora, I bought this eyelash curler. And I've replaced, um, I've replaced like the little rubber thing to it. I've replaced it a million times. Um, but the curler still works, but I did need a new one just because one of the hinges came off and that's after four years. So I'm like totally okay spending another 25 bucks on this. I don't know. I feel like this will last me a couple of years and let me tell you, it opens up the eye. It's the best eyelash curler. Um, I would never cheap out on an eyelash curler. Like honest to God, why tint your lashes? Why perm your lashes? Like just get a $25 eyelash curler, get some nice mascara and you're good to go and you're not damaging your lashes. And I just... And when you're lazy, like, open up your eye with an eyelash curler. That just makes the most sense. So whatever. That's my spiel on eyelash curlers. So this is a velvet shadow stick. Um, so it's technically like an eyeshadow in an eyeliner stick. It's in black. So this is really great because it's like a liner. It's like an eyeshadow. Just kind of looks like this. Um, it's round. It's like really rounded, which is really nice. Um, it's just really easy to tight line with it. And honestly, for creating shapes, it's like a crayon, so it's really easy to draw on. I'm gonna buy a bunch of these. I just needed the black one because I have only one kind of black liner, and this is just the perfect base for a smoky eye, or just like the perfect kind of smudger, like girl on the go type of look. And this is $35, and I think that's fucking awesome. You can't close the box. Okay, I tried so hard not to buy this. I have the Laguna powder, okay? I have the Laguna bronzing powder. I still need this Hoola. I don't know what it is about this. I will always use this bronzer. It's not too warm. I feel like it's the most inexpensive bronzer for what it is. What, it's 38. That's actually a really expensive bronzer. You might as well go to a better brand, but whatever. I don't, I'm fucking addicted. I've bought this like eight times. I've bought it since I was 16. I just, I love it benefit hula okay and then here's another bronzing thing summer is coming I don't want any damage on my skin <laughs> just giggling over there. <laughs> you could only see my friend Jessica is in front of this mirror okay she's wearing the tightest white jeans her booty is looking so poppin and she has her like her circular sunglasses on and she's just like so this is like I swear this video is not even remotely as entertaining as what's happening here. Yeah. Speaking of bronzers, I got this NARS liquid Laguna bronzer. <laughs> if you only knew, if you only knew, I got this NARS. I actually love it. Speaking of bronzers, I needed another bronzer. This is really sad. This is a sad thing. This is the NARS liquid Laguna is being discontinued according to the girls at Sephora. So let's all just take a moment of silence. 
This is really sad. This may be my last time buying this product. It's cool because I can just use a darker foundation like this. But there's something about it being called Laguna that I'm like, oh, don't discontinue it. It looks like this. It's a liquid pump. It's real fucking nice. It's not too warm. I kind of contour with it. May it rest in peace. Hopefully it'll last. And you know what? I might hit it up on eBay. I might get it on eBay when it gets discontinued. Like that's, uh, that's the type of bitch that I am, you know? So I bought three beauty blenders for the price of $60. I know it's all a lie, these beauty blenders, okay? But I am convinced that I can use some on a client, some on myself. One thing I will say with these is I realized that I was getting most of my breakouts from my beauty blender. I had my beauty blender for like over a year. It's fucking nasty. I don't care if you clean it out a million times. It's so sad. These are not good for your skin. Like if you use this on the daily, you're just pressing gunk into your pores. So like don't, but like do if you want full coverage. I don't know. It's the crux. It's the true crux. <laughs> this is like truly, this is the hardest decision of my life to make. I just spent 60, like I just spent a lot of money on these. But you know what? They look like Easter eggs. So makes sense. Last but not least, cult favorite Benefit Their Real Mascara. I say this all the time. I fucking love this mascara. And I'm gonna tell you like exactly why I love this mascara. I never took the time before to explain it. Okay, so this mascara has a really fucking dope wand. And when I say fucking dope, I mean fucking dope because you can lay it like on your lash just straight, okay? And you can comb through your lash and you don't get too much product, which is really nice. I always wipe off my mascara wand, so that also helps. But I have to say, this disperses really nicely. The only thing with this mascara that makes it even more bomb than another mascara is at the top, like the very tip of this mascara. And girls, you know that a tip is very important, okay? It's a make or break situation. The tip of this mascara, it's rounded and it's spikier than the rest of the wand. So what that does is it collects the most product and then you can, let me just show you. I'm not gonna put it on my eye, but okay. Oh, fresh, so fresh. Don't you love the sound of like a fresh mascara? You'd be like, Ugh. So lay it flat, whatever, and then you can actually flip it over. So holding the, the wand like this, push up into the lashes so you get way more product that way into the root rather than getting something super spidery all around. So this brush, I'm fucking telling you, it's worth it. I don't care that this is a $30 mascara. I know mascara is all a lie because the formulas are the same, but the wand for me does it. I don't know, let me just say. So that's what I bought at Sephora, $322.05 later of hard earned work. I have zero regrets. These are the things that I actually genuinely needed. I went a long time without having in my kit and I'm very happy to have them back. Um, I probably will film some kind of tutorial in the future, but not yet. But I just wanted you to know that I bought this stuff and consumerism is real. So peace. See you in the next video. Thank you for listening to me rant. Goodbye.